Can we effectively use tech to capture knowledge to empower future leaders and employees? Well, that was the quest we set out on to answer. And there's no one better at leading us into the future than Kyle Short. Known for rapid acceleration of growth for several companies, he is VP of Partnership with Wisdom Capture. He's also being joined by Jeff Campbell. You may know Jeff Campbell as the former CEO of Burger King. Right now, he's the executive in residence for the School of Hospitality and Tourism at San Diego State. And he's also a co-founder of Wisdom Capture. Gentlemen, welcome to the board. Happy to be here. Hello, hello. So this theme was welcome to the Wisdom Capture Development Board. What is this exactly? So Wisdom Capture kicks off from a place of an obvious rift between senior leadership and emerging leaders and generally employees throughout any level of the organization. We find that kind of one of our mottos is with regards to wisdom, you've got it and they want it. So trying to bridge this gap and, and democratize the wisdom gained and, and earned, and this is kind of what makes wisdom different from knowledge is that it's, it's caught, not taught, right? It's, it's, it's through experience that you develop wisdom. And then being able to scale that wisdom, being able to share that wisdom, whatever it may be, overcoming adversity, overcoming fear, successes and failures, and sharing that with the rest of the organization. We also had a hypothesis, which is that the typical organization out there is we suspected not doing the world's best job in terms of developing their people. And we really wanted to do a deep dive into what the state of play is out there when it comes to management development in American organizations. Tell us about this uh, diverse panel you guys put together. Let me echo your point that it's very diverse. We have people that have lots of Fortune 500 type of experience. We also have some credible academic credentials in this group. We've got people from NGOs. So the, the waterfront is basically covered here in terms of general expertise. But then as we looked at the profile for each of the, the folks we chose for the panel, they were clearly active and intellectually engaged in precisely those areas that we wanted to investigate. To kick things off, we, we did have kind of a general feel for the state of play with management development. And, and through this first part of this board, we've really just kind of heard some echoing of that. And we are really looking forward to digging into that and, and seeing specifically what is happening? What are the trends? You know, and we'll get into that in a minute here, but you know, where were we even 15 years ago and how have we regressed? And do you think that the less training is resulting in more disengagement? I think it makes complete sense that those dots would connect. I, I think you, you may have seen the Gallup poll. I think they've been polling American, I think worldwide employees every year since 2000. And I think the 2016 disengagement number was something like 67 or 68 percent of the workforce was either disengaged or actively disengaged. So what we've seen is that, you know, the old yearly review, the annual review, I mean, this is something I, I'm sure that we've caught over the past, you know, five years, if not a decade, this has kind of been the trend that we're going to more informal and, and more frequent performance reviews. One of the things I would point out, though, and this is a point raised at, at some length by one of our panelists, that while there may be a general trend to more frequent and more informal performance reviews, the overall shape of management development out there kind of is, is in bifurcated. There's the great uh, probable majority of corporations that are probably doing a less effective job than they were 15 years ago. And then there are people on the margins who are really doing the interesting stuff. Uh, those are the people that, uh, that we want to identify, and those are the people we're really ready to go serve. This is one thing that we've, we, we come across all the time, you know, just even in a, a phone call we had very recently where, you know, you have a, an abundance of data uh, based on current, you know, software now is, is increasingly uh, rich in the scope of the data that it can provide. But this piece of information you might be seeing on the screen here, this a very small, you know, single digit percent of organizations feel that they have, you know, quote, usable data. And then even, uh, even further, you know, what do you do with that data once you have it? So do you see a pivot point of being able to take all this data, all of this knowledge, and then being able to 
transform it into wisdom? I would say that I think that we would recognize the need for or the use case for uh, wisdom and then through an audit, through a, what, we, what we like to call wisdom audit, basically uh, understanding the, 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 the economy of wisdom, the capital of wisdom that you have within an, an, an organization, and then being able to extract that wisdom and deliver it to the people that need it when they need it most. One thing that we saw from one of the panelists here was that, you know, from a personal anecdote, whereas 15 years ago, receiving training and development on effective teams and diversity and this kind of the so-called soft skills, and that has, in, in this, in his personal case, seemed to have disappeared and, and, you know, we're now in the dark ages. So it's really interesting to see how um, these soft skills have been, you know, marginalized or, or, or maybe replaced with more technical know-how. So David Cottrell makes a point. He says that business productivity has not kept pace with technological progress. Would you agree with that statement? Yes. In an era in which people pay homage to shareholder value as the purpose of, of all corporate activity, it is not surprising to me that some of this activity has gone by the board. You had a lot of great panelists. I know three were particularly active and really engaged in the panel. Uh, tell us about them. When I saw those names pop up, I grinned because I have really been enjoying their contributions to the panel all along. So it, it wasn't a surprise to me. So we're delighted to see them recognized. Yeah. And really one thing that was particularly interesting for, for us was that we saw not only was it um, original content produced by some of these these top experts here, but it was their willingness to engage some of the other panelists and, and, and kind of further discuss their points that they were bringing that was really cool as well to see. Again, Kyle Short, known for rapid acceleration of growth for several companies. He's VP of Partnerships for Wisdom Capture and also joined by Jeff Campbell, the former CEO of Burger King. He is also executive in residence at the School of Hospitality and Tourism at San Diego State, and he's co-founder of Wisdom Capture. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thanks again. My pleasure.